Hello, this is Tobloxer502 once again. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the first episode of my Zero Case series. Alright. This is simply a 4 versus 4 at Small Divide Remake. Alright, now let's see what happens. And we'll get into some action. Okay, so it looks like we have a dart spam coming up here. Now, this strategy is. Well, this isn't much of an effective strategy in this case, is what I mean to say. Um, the only time a dart spam is effective is when you're dealing with something like maybe a venom that really nothing can kill effectively. Like if it's two, three venoms, you're going to need a dart spam. But in this case, which he obviously is just trying to scout with them, that is not effective at all. Because what happens is they try to move in and then they all get destroyed thus giving them a ton more metal if than if you only sent in about one scout okay hmm I wonder what they're gonna do looks like they're just gonna sit there no raiding going on here <clears throat> no it irritates me to see these guys build so many raiders and not even use them effectively at raiding. Well, I think they might use them later, but, um, yeah, I believe they do use, that they do do some effective economy raiding later in the game. But, I mean, you should be doing it basically throughout the entire game. Always have raiders in the enemy base just to see if they put anything unguarded. If it is unguarded, then you can go over there and attack it. Now, this guy is attempting a Zeus and Rocco rush, which doesn't make any sense because most of the time with the early game, you're building a lot of raid bots. And raid bots are naturally strong against skirmishers and assaults. Now, he's coming up, this guy over here from the Light Vehicle Factory is coming up and. He's sending up a few slashers to, it looks like, help with the raider control. That's a very smart move. Kind of acts as a wall for any kind of raider that comes up. See, they just get destroyed when they come up to the slashers. Okay, and... I believe these guys are fairly inexperienced because, as you can see, both... both sides of the map are not completely taken yet. This guy over here is he he's mainly just building energy. Which there's not a problem with that considering I believe this is a commander junior so he's not gonna have an energy cell. But um he probably should have at least something out taking these mixes. Because otherwise, they're not going to be at their full economy potential. And as you can see, it's about the same situation on this side. On each side, it looks like they both are lacking four. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's a little bit annoying actually. And this right here was fairly stupid. Three roaches together is not a good idea. Looks like he was going to try to run him into the guy's factory and do a suicide mission. That's ah, stupid. Yeah. Hmm. Though this guy probably does need some kind of a defender to protect against that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to push through with these slashers here. That's a very, very good idea. 
because they outrange most defenses. Um, I don't think they actually outrange the Stinger. If this thing was built, then they'd probably be in a little bit of trouble here. But it looks like they're hard at work destroying it. Yeah, as you can see, this one's shooting them. Shooting them, so... Hmm. It, this right here makes no sense at all. Three Stardust, that's just pork. The guy probably doesn't know what to build, so he's just making defenses. This this prob this isn't even really a good pork. Hmm. You know, if these guys would pull up maybe a Wolverine or a Myrtle over here, then they would probably be able to get a considerable advantage. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're finally trying to do some economic rating over here. Finally! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these are not advanced players, so I guess that's pretty well expected. Yeah, okay, yeah, f yeah, it looks like they finally got the idea here. They're pulling up some more artillery pieces, though only light artillery pieces. The hammer, looks like they're going to try to do some shelling there. Putting this, put, putting up here on this mountain would probably a good would probably be a good idea. Um, yeah, this guy over here, he's just spamming roaches. I did that once in a battle, and I got miserably defeated. Not smart at all. Especially when they're clumped like this, because if one explodes, all of them go. Well, he's probably gonna spread them out, but. Now, exactly why he's building Stardust here, I don't know, because a Defender would work just perfectly. Though it should do its job, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> See if he created a pond. Nope. Nope. Okay, let's get back to the action. Hmm, okay, so... Alright, they're trying to move in with these hammers. Per looks like it's working pretty effectively. They're gonna need some raid bots. Hmm. Or counter hammers. That makes sense. A fair amount of sense. Not the most effective thing in the world, but it can work. Hmm, counter hammer. Cool. Okay, looks like we've got some assault. Some ravager here. Looks like he's going to meet these thugs. Oh yeah. It's fairly entertaining to watch all the artillery shots go overhead as this thug bows it out with this ravager bows it out with these thugs. Okay, it's retreating. Makes sense, it's probably lost. Ooh, now this right here, that is an effective move. See if he uses it right. Okay. That was a pretty good use. Not the best. And this guy, he's scared that he's going to get roached again. He's scared that he's going to take a little bit of damage, and he doesn't want to have to deal with that. <clears> hmm, <throat> man. These hammers are really piling up. Hammers are... They work the best in massive numbers. Well, of course, anything works the best when it's massed, but the hammer seems to be particularly strong. One hammer by itself can't really do anything, but ten can do quite a bit. Yeah. Basically, what it seems like is going to happen here is... Um, These hammers are just going to continue to fight it out, and really anything that tries to come through here is probably just going to get torn apart. The hammer isn't the most effective artillery piece, but for a purpose like this, it it works fairly well. Um, really what they need to do is they need about probably a Merle to kill these Stardust over here, and then they need to move these Ravagers in, possibly get rid of a few possibly get rid of a few of these stingers 
Yeah. <clears throat> this seems to happen a lot of times when nubs, newbies play free for alls or, well, no, not free for all. What am I saying? Team games. Because, well, obviously you know they're inexperienced, so they they don't exactly know what to build, so they resort to defenses instead. Because defenses also do a lot of damage to their price. Though, when you make a lot of defenses, a situation like this happens. It's basically one side against the other for about 30 minutes until one side finally breaks through for some oblong reason. It looks like in this battle, this side over here is going to win because I have a fairly strong defensive line and they have been raiding. It's like these guys are readying up. It's like these guys are ready for an raid. These bandits over here. Yeah. Yeah, they just want this to be the main front. It looks like each team wants to grab control of the center. Yeah. Hm. Cloaking field, that's a pretty nice move actually because they they don't know exactly how many hammers they have until they're all shooting. You can't really count them and keep counting them. Okay. <laughs> Wow, what a waste of resources. I guess that guy's so scared that his commander's gonna get bombed. He's creating a little hole for him. That's funny. That really is funny. Troll commanders are such a huge waste of resources. Okay, phoenixes. Now, this could very well turn the tide of the battle. Yeah, they could probably get in, destroy a few of these Jethro's. But the problem is, this side, this side over here, they, they have a lot of tactical advantages. Like I was mentioning earlier, the raiding and the strong pork and all that, and the air aircraft, but they don't really seem to have an assault force like this side does. So it doesn't really seem that they plan on doing any kind of effective attacking. Now, unless they can pull a, a lot of roaches over here really fast, which it looks like they're trying to do, then they're going to be in trouble. Let's just see what happens here. Oh man, it looks like they put up a wall to block them. Now that's frustrating. It looks like they all just kind of got caught on the side of the wall. Yeah, they're going to strengthen that pork very, very hard. Yeah, they're going to strengthen it considerably until they can't get through it all, really. They might need to pull a trimmer over there. Though none of them went heavy vehicles, so that's not possible. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ah, that was such a stupid move. First of all, he could have went. He could have went for something like this over here. Um, when you're using phoenixes, typically you want to bomb economic targets or units, not factories. This factory might die, but it wouldn't have been nearly as effective if we, as if he went over here and destroyed a whole bunch of these caretakers and lit all these fusions on fire. Not that it would destroy the fusions in the first pass, but it, you know, they might eventually explode, giving them a serious energy problem. Though, it seems they have too much energy anyways. Looks like they're getting a lot of overdrive, yeah. Yeah, o overdrive is always a good use. You can really get never too, you can never really get too much energy because of overdrive. But, it doesn't seem that they're using it, or at least using it effectively. Well, he's rolling out outlaws now, that's... No. <laughs> yeah, that guy's still making roaches. That is just... That's ridiculous. I mean, what's he trying to do? Make a pond? Trying to turn this into a water map? <laughs> okay, rearm repair pad. 
Cobra, Lotus Stinger. Yeah. I don't have my interface up right now, so it'd be nice to know the names of this stuff. Well, it'd be nice for you guys to know the names. I already know all the names of all this stuff in Zero K, but yeah. Hmm. It looks like they're just going to continue with this bit for a long time until they finally... Well, I don't <laughs> well, I guess you can't really put an ending to that sentence because I don't exactly know what they're trying to do. They could sit here and pork this all day, but they're not going to win unless they do some kind of assault. Okay, it looks like this guy wants to attack with his troll commander. Yeah, super troll commander, there you go. Though it's a support commander. Depending on his weapons, that could be effective, it could not. Mm, man. Levels like this always give some lag. It's a little bit frustrating. Oh man. It's going to take a long time. Quite a little while for this battle to complete. Yeah, from the way it's still looking though, this side has the advantage. It's just the fact that defenses are more effective than units, and these guys, I mean, they're not really building any kind of effective artillery pieces to kill this pork. Oh, and when I say pork, I mean heavy defenses. Basically, um, stardust or higher is what I consider to be pork. Depending on the situation, really. One Stardust on this front, I might not consider pork, though units would be better anyways. Yeah, and this side there are porking as well. I guess they want to feel completely and totally secure before they destroy each other. <laughs> Okay, it looks like that Geo is going to be out. Yeah, certain things like this when you really just have... Well, actually that was pretty well stupid because... He lost quite a few of his bombers and this... Okay, it could. It did detonate, though bombing something like all these hammers or these Jethros. Well, not that he can see the Jethros, but at least bombing the hammers. That would have been a good move. Yeah, this side by all means has the advantage now because they have an Annihilator. This thing is incredible. <clears throat> it's like the ultimate source of power. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to break through this pork now. Hmm. It's going to be interesting how this turns out. Ooh. Outlaws being burned. Oh, also, um... If you, if any of you guys want, any of the viewers want, you can put in the commentary where you would like for me to put my camera. Because I know sometimes some commentators, they're just all over the battlefield and sometimes you want to watch one thing, but they're not there. So. Yeah. Just put in there wh where you want to see. Like, just for me to keep my camera on the main front, just like over everything, or keep it on the main battlefront here. Which in this case is obviously this front here, the center. Or just kind of pan around the battlefield and give you an overview of everything, how everything looks, the designs of all the units and such. <clears throat> Well, this is going to take a long time from the way it's looking. It already has taken a long time. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yep, it looks like they built a roach flinging contraption. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so glad I got that on film. That was so funny. The whole contraption just exploded. Oh. Though I'm not sure what happened there. He must have told one of the roaches to detonate, or he. I guess. He, I guess he agitated one of the roaches. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Ooh, wow. Looks like, uh... Hmm. They must have a missile silo or something. Let's see. Because all this right here is on fire. Either that or... You know, possibly this guy could have taken all of his phoenixes and bombed this because... Hmm, yeah. That's possible. It's against the rules to do team damage. But, yeah... Oh, and it's uh, pretty strictly enforced. That's probably what they... That's, that seems to be what the moderators hate the most, is team damage. Though it is gonna s soften that pork up so they can get in. Well, no chance in getting in now. They also have a Doomsday Machine. Doomsday Machine and Annihilator. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough to get in there. I tell you what, that was just hilarious, though. That was... Okay, it happened again. Huh. Maybe he's telling the roaches to detonate on purpose so that he can get this ramp to shrink the ramp and kind of terraform the ramp so it'll fling the roaches better. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem... This thing doesn't seem to be working all that well. He might not have his uh, Newtons these little things here the Newtons he might not have them targeting the correct area alright let's see okay it looks like they're trying to looks like possibly level out the terrain or no they're probably trying to make a ditch here yeah so they can't get through yeah, it looks like they're trying to make a ditch right in front of the Doomsday Machine. Hmm. Well, by this point, really, either side has had enough time to develop some kind of a weapon to destroy the other, hands down. Okay, it looks like they're working on a big Bertha up here. If that gets on, then that's going to be game. It's going to be the end of the game. Hmm, Strider Hub. I wonder if he plans to do anything effective with that. Right now, it's kind of just acting as a repair turret. Okay, this guy's coming around for another run. Now, from the way it seems, these roaches could possibly be detonating... <gasps> Oh, wow. Now that right there. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I caught that. Alright, let's see. Uh, Banshee's brawlers. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to break through the pork. Yeah. They're developing... Creating Black Dawns. Okay, yeah. It was actually a Black Dawn, not a brawler, probably, that was over here. Yeah, and from the way it seems that the reason these roaches were exploding is because he was bombing his factory, which would catch one roach on fire, probably. And then the roach would come over here to the rest of them and obviously detonate. Now, I don't think roaches really have enough, enough health for that to happen, but it, it is possible, I suppose. Well, the Stardust went to good use there. Most certainly. Stopping an outlaw spam quickly is no easy task. Looks like Stardust do a pretty good job, though. Huh. I might try that sometime. Ah, Behemoth. Nice. Yeah. Th this team, it by all means has the advantage. They're, they're pretty much going to win. Now, this... I'm not sure how... 
Yeah, I think this guy intended it to be like this. He does not want his commander to die. Yeah, he just dug himself a massive hole in the ground. He's just gonna sit there forever. Yep, and they can't shoot at him because water blocks projectiles. Yep. Well, uh, makes me wonder how they're actually going to kill that guy. Now, why he was shooting, why this commander was shooting into there, I'm not sure. Maybe he was just testing it because these two are on the same team. <clears throat> Alright. Well, let's see what's happening over here with the Black Dawns. Hmm. Okay, they're just they're just assembling. Okay, that is a massive Phoenix Force. Yeah, that that's probably enough Phoenixes to kill really anything. Possibly even this crab. Well, not if the crab is sitting still. Of course. Okay, Black Dawn's coming through. Okay, they're lining up. Looks like they're getting ready to attack. Yeah, they definitely plan to attack. They're off this heavy defensive bit. Oh yeah, here we go. This is looking epic. Let's see what these phoenixes bomb. Huh. Well, nothing good apparently. <laughs> Though it is going to set that entire area ablaze. Ah yeah, it looks like they're coming back. Hmm. Looks like they're Looks like they're just going to get shot down. It looks like he didn't actually have any kind of specified targets in mind besides that one mix. Yep. Those four or five died. Alright, they're coming back for another run, it looks like. Hmm, no. No, scratch that. Yeah, they're, they're still reloading, so. Okay, here we go. It looks like the Black Dons are trying to move in. I wonder what they plan to do. Looks like they just plan to get destroyed. <laughs> yep. It almost seems they're trying to use their own defenses against them. I don't know. Yeah, basically that. I mean that. That's really just probably a latch, a, a last ditch effort. Is what they were trying to do there. Yeah, just their last effort, because. Obviously, as you can see, they are beaten. I'm not sure if there's really much any way for them to pull out of this. Well, they might have the resources to make something possibly like an ultimatum. Instead of this. Yeah, th this guy probably should have created a strider hub. And started working on an ultimatum or something. But yeah, if you haven't seen already, the Big Bertha is online. It's been shooting at him. There it goes. Looks like it's going to try to shoot their factory. I'll just get an overview of the whole battlefield here, this side. They're not doing anything special back here, so. Ooh, there went the factory. <clears throat> well, I believe that is pretty much good game. These guys just need to resign. They probably won't because they're noobs. Because... Yeah, I think mostly noobs don't resign because they want the experience, they want to see if they can pull out of it, and they probably don't exactly know when they're beaten. In this case, it's as clear as day. Whatever kind of colorful adjective you want to use, definitely clear they are beaten uh probably possibly part of that was because of this here troll com he didn't really do much and this big hole yeah that was a huge waste that was a huge waste of resources that got us one to save his commander i don't know why <laughs> well yeah that, that's also a thing nubs like to do they don't like to see their commander die personally i don't really care if mine dies as long as i have enough energy to support what he was supporting because I usually equip my commander with an energy cell so if he dies then my energy goes down a little bit I think by about 10 so yeah yep 
Yeah, they're just leveling them with these phoenixes. Okay, well, I guess that was a pretty good method of attack. Though, if they would put their resources into something effective against aircraft, like a screamer, then those phoenixes wouldn't have gotten in. Well, obviously a cobra, which was just sitting here, is effective against phoenixes. But, it's not as effective as a screamer. And they did have the money to build a screamer, so. Oh, it's going to be entertaining when this thing goes boom. Wonder if they can. Wonder if they can see it. Hmm. Yeah, th they really need to put some kind of a like. Okay. Hmm. They do have a long-range radar tower up here. They must not know that that is a singularity reactor. I don't know. Either that, or they're not telling what. Either that, or they're not telling the birth of what to shoot. <clears throat> if they detonated that, then I'm pretty sure. Or most people would resign. If that got destroyed, well, I would resign right now. Here we go. Looks like they're after it. They're gonna destroy it. Fire. Boom. Oh yeah. Nuclear explosions. <laughs> who doesn't like to get a who doesn't like to watch a good nuke explode? Or in this case, a singularity reactor. <laughs> yeah, and they haven't resigned. Well, that's probably because they haven't resigned already. It doesn't really... For the way it looks, they're just going to let themselves get mopped up. Hmm, look at that. <laughs> they even made a protector. Yeah, they... Considering they port... Considering this team over here did a massive pork um, this team could have made heavy any aircraft to stop the aircraft and they could have made a super weapon like a nuke which would be a silencer that's what I'm talking about hmm though neither one of them really scattered effectively well this team they had bombers coming in so that works as a pretty good scout. <clears throat> hmm. They should really resign now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like like I was saying, there, there's no hope, basically, of them resigning, probably. Looks like they have no intention. Ooh, looks like we have a troll com here. Looks like he has a sniper module. The shock rifle, I believe, is what it's called. Yeah. And the behemoth it's bearing down. Let's see its attack radius here. Looks like he might try to come in and. Yep, there you go. So there's the shock rifle in action. Those little blue bullets. Ooh, looks like the phoenix is coming in for another run. Ooh, I missed that. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. It's always fun to watch all this stuff blow up. I think I'm just going to go ahead and let this run to the very end. It's obvious that they're destroyed, but if there was ever any controversy, then I'd like to go ahead and get the full verdict. That and it is really entertaining to watch these heat waves that these phoenixes produce. It's like the troll column's gonna die. Hopefully. <laughs> die, Commander, die.
Ah, there we go. There he went. Man, that just seems like an infinite number of phoenixes. They just keep coming. Though I'm sure people have made more in the past. <clears throat> wow. I'm pretty positive if I was spectating this battle, I would not be able to see this because my computer would be lagging so bad. All these phoenixes, this causes a ton of lag. Yep, it looks like they're just going to let themselves get completely and totally destroyed. Hopefully these outlaws will set off this here roach. Alright, looks like they just got to come through and bomb these windmills. Alright, last windmill. And there we go, that's game. Alright. Well, I will see you guys in the next one. Good game.